My name is Eamon Harty. I'm from Waterford, which is in the southeast of Ireland. Um, been living there all my life. When I started working after leaving school, I went into Waterford Crystal at the age of 17 to serve in a five-year apprenticeship. Now that five-year apprenticeship would have consisted of learning all about gloss engraving from the ground up. At the end of that five years, which when you turned master, with 10 years experience, you were expected to be able to turn around anything that was requested of you. I entered Waterford Crystal in 1975. Five year apprenticeship saw me um, qualifying in 1980, and a further five years to master in 1985. From 19, 1985 onwards, Waterford would have been very much to the forefront in sponsorship of major events right through the world. Um, that coupled with large commissions for visiting dignitaries, uh, countries and things like that. During my era, a lot of the trophies actually carried depictions of a sporting event. I left Waterford in 2003. But my turning point was when I walked into a store and saw glass under the Waterford brand, which had been made in China. Now, that to me was for me to find a straw. And I knew that kind of there was going to be no future for the likes of me in, in, in an environment like that. My opportunity to come here to the museum, which came through the Caution Fragile exhibition. Um, Roshin had been here as a resident before, making a lot of the glass that we had worked on. Had been telling me very much all the good things about it. How to work with a hot glass team, which would be a new, very much a new departure for me. It's the first time in respect of outside a factory environment where I am having an opportunity to actually sit down with a team in the hot shop and actually try and have something made. Came here, I'm doing it now. I'm very much excited about that. I'm working with colour here which is something that I would have worked with only on a very small scale before. As I'm starting now to kind of be able to make drawings, thinking that I'm working in layers of colour, something that I think only on one occasion in my life before I got to do. I now have some kind of control over what's been made for me to be able to work on at the coal end. And that's a wonderful experience. In Ireland, we have a very kind of traditional sweater called the Iron Sweater. It comes from the Iron Islands, just off the west coast of Ireland. And the designs on these are kind of very... There's a, there's a huge range of designs on them. One I'm drawn to is one that has a kind of a diamond pattern with um, certain knobs of, of wool knitted into like little blobs here and there on them. And they're called the Blackberry Stitch. Engraving is a slow process. Almost using my engraving wheels, like an artist will use his brush on the canvas or a carver will use his chisels to carve wood. It's slowly building and building and building. In the type of engraving that I do, in taglio engraving, I'm working from the furthest away point, coming back towards you, the viewer, the whole time. And that means for me that I'm going to work something that is the furthest away point, and it's an overlap process. So I'm overlapping the whole time of what's coming towards you. So the last engraving that I will do will be the foreground and the nearest to you as a viewer. But it's a case of building on form, building on, in the case of modeling a human being even, building the bone structure, building the muscle structure over it, and then kind of building, the, using the fine matting of the copper wheels and the carborundum abrasive to actually do the, the final coating of skin, if you like. And the polishing processes then come that bring that engraving to life. It's so wonderful to be able to stand beside something that I've des designed, seeing it be produced by the team, the wonderful team here. Ben and the team are actually just asking back, well, what, what do you think about this? Do, will this be okay? Will we shape it this way or that? And that's something which is a new departure for me. So I'm very much excited about the outcome of this particular uh, residency. And, um, I'm sure, uh, I know it's going to work out well. I'd be only counting the time when I could get back here again, maybe. <laughs>